Hi, this is Johnny Mac, and welcome to Live Mixing Concepts, Episode 1. Today, we will be talking about the importance of high pass filters. What is a high pass filter? To put it simply, it is a filter that only allows the audio that is higher than the given frequency past it. It passes high frequencies and filters out the low ones. It's a fantastically easy way to remove low frequencies from where it isn't needed and it helps to reduce the amount of low frequency information being sent to the PA system. Why is this important? Low frequencies are harder for your amplifiers and speakers to recreate as your speaker needs to move in larger, slower waves back and forth. Most microphones are designed to capture a larger frequency range than the direct source material. Even though you may not be hearing it, that low frequency information is still being captured and sent to the PA system. Take this SM57 on a snare drum. When the snare is struck, it sits in the range of 120 hertz and up, but you can clearly see that the microphone is picking up more than that. To have your PA system work more efficiently, we can remove those unwanted frequencies. Listen to this recording of a kick drum. We can bring the high pass filter up to 45 hertz without any audible effect. With other instruments that sit in higher ranges, there generally isn't much information below 100 hertz. This is why, on many analog consoles, there is a switch that will enable a high pass filter there. Now that we understand what our high pass filter is doing, let's look at some of the other benefits. Lower frequencies are more omnidirectional than higher frequencies. In these heat maps, you can see our stage and our PA system. On the left, you can see that 50 hertz floods the stage, whereas on the right, 1 kHz is projected forward. As a result of the low frequencies spilling all over the stage, every microphone is capturing those frequencies and trying to send it back out the PA system. At best, we start having a muddy sounding mix with less clarity. At worst, we start getting feedback in the low frequencies. If we start adding high pass filters to some of our microphones, we reduce the amount of them that give us those frequencies. This will allow the microphones and PA system to focus on what is actually important to hear. If you have a noisy band in a small room, those high pass filters can be used to ignore the frequencies that are building up on your stage. Imagine you have a very loud bass player, but you want more clarity. You don't just want to turn it up because you aren't adding anything useful. You can high pass away from what you are hearing on stage, and just use your mix to bring out some of the attack and grit from their playing. I personally set my high pass filters to the point that I only just start to hear them affecting the sound of the instruments and then bring them back slightly. That way you can clean up a large amount of low frequency information without affecting the mix. Here is a full band, first without high pass filters, and then with high pass filters. As you can hear, there is hardly any audible difference, and we have reduced the likelihood of low frequency feedback, as well as the amount of power required for the PA. I hope that this short video has informed you about the importance of using high pass filters and the choices that you can make when using them. Please hit like and subscribe to the channel to catch episode 2, which will be about transparently gating drums. <laughs>